Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My heart is feeling heavy, wanting the love of my Sheikh. How can I obtain such when I'm in such a weak one who cannot do much and has nothing to show for my love? Stay home, don't do anything. You're insisting you have nothing to show, then stay home. This is Naqshbandi answer. Don't be forced. Love itself is going to push you to do something. Love itself is going to force you. No one else can tell you. I cannot tell you. Forty prophets cannot tell you. But if you have real love, that is going to motivate you. The people around the Holy Prophet, والسلام, in the beginning especially, most of them, they were what? Powerful, rich, what? Doctors, engineers, professors. What were they? They were slaves. Did they say, oh, I love so much you, but I don't know what to do. How can I do? What did they give when they have nothing else to give? They give their lives. You have nothing to give. You have a cup of water. You have nothing to give. Offer a Fatiha. Look, come on now. The list is endless. If you have real love, it's going to motivate you. I don't have to tell you them that time. Inshallah. All our hearts are heavy with the love. But you know what? This is the difference now in this way. Love comes with responsibility. Love comes with heavy responsibility. Love comes with a lot of hardship. So carry it. Then you have love that time. That's what Holy Prophet Lesotosam said. Anyway, I'm not quoting from my own thing or what smart people write about Sufism. Man came to the Holy Prophet Lesotosam and says, Ya Rasulullah, I love you. Prophet Lesotosam says, then prepare yourself for hardship. Hardship comes in so many different ways. Not just, oh, I have to give something, I have to work, I have to... Hardship comes in so many different ways. Look to the lives of the Sahabi Kiram and the Prophets. What kind of hardships did they face if it's not constant what? Slander. Isn't it? Constant slander by people. Look at Hazrat Musa. He was slandered, wasn't he? And look at our holy prophet, والسلام, look at the sahabi kiram. Now look and see their response and the response of the Habibullah. Hazrat Musa, he was slandered with adultery. And he had the power. Allah gave him the power to judge and to punish. And he looked to the man who slandered him and he punished him. Musa salam commanded to the earth, O earth, swallow him. Musa salam representing what? Law, the shariat, the power of the shariat and the rights of the shariat. The earth swallowed him one time. The man screamed to Musa salam, please, Ya Musa, forgive me. No, you did so much damage to me. You destroyed the work. You destroyed my mission. You destroyed my family. You destroy everything. Swallow him. The earth swallowed one more time. Please, Ya Musa, for the sake of Allah, forgive me. No, swallow him. Seventy times. He cried 70 times the earth swallow. He had the right. Allah gave him the right. After that event, 
Musa aleyhisselam kelimullah spoke to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mountain of Tur and Allah said to him Ya Musa I swear by my majesty if that one that you punished had asked me for forgiveness once I would forgive him Holy Prophet said to Salam, what happened when he took over Mecca? Hmm? Forget about slander, they came, no? To destroy everything. He punished. You think he had revenge in his heart? You think the Sahabi Kiram, they had revenge in their heart, personal revenge in their heart? You may say, oh no, no, this is only for Allah's sake. Then look to the Rasul Allah. He forgave everyone. Except for a few of them. Exceptions. So we have to get rid of that from our hearts. Are we saying we are just going to forget about it? No, of course we don't. We remember a wrong has been done, of course. That's the time you look to your guide. The guide says, don't move, stay, swallow. You do that. Otherwise, it's going to be more disaster. Yeah, we are weak creatures, of course. May Allah make us to become strong. But our guides are the strong ones. Our guides are not the weak ones. Don't follow them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Next question, say.